रेडियोएक्टिव एलिमेंट्स ऑब्जेक्टिव टू लर्न अबाउट द रेडियोएक्टिविटी इन एलिमेंट्स रेडियोएक्टिविटी इज द प्रोसेस बाय व्हिच एन अनस्टेबल एटॉमिक न्यूक्लियस विल लूज एनर्जी थ्रू द एमिटिंग ऑफ पार्टिकल्स और इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स दीस एमिटेड पार्टिकल्स और इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स आर व्हाट आर नोन एज रेडिएशन एलिमेंट्स एग्जिबिटिंग radioactivity are radioactive elements the surrounding layers of an atom are built from negatively charged particles we know as electrons which revolve around a heavy positively charged nucleus the nucleus is made of protons which carry a positive electrical charge and neutrons which carry no charge a nucleus is considered stable once the forces of attraction and repulsion between its particles are balanced when the number of particles in the nucleus is more sizable as it is in atoms with higher atomic numbers the nucleus will be unstable the atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus there is a correlation between radioactivity and the atomic number of an element every element with an atomic number greater than that of lead 82 is radioactive an unstable nucleus will attempt stability by undergoing the process of radioactive decay most naturally occurring radioactive elements will emit either alpha particles or beta particles during this process however the emission of these particles is often accompanied by the emission of gamma rays elements such as radium will emit all three types of radiation in alpha radiation an alpha particle comprised of two protons and two neutrons will be released during alpha decay the mass of the nucleus will decrease by 4 and the atomic number of the atom will decrease by 2 americium 241 for example will undergo alpha decay and form neptunium 237 during beta decay an unstable nucleus will emit an energetic electron with a relatively small mass and an anti neutrino with little mass during this decay a neutron will be converted into a proton thereby increasing the atomic number by 1 while leaving the mass number unchanged consider an atom of carbon with six protons it will undergo beta decay and become an atom of nitrogen 